Welcome back. Today we are talking about all things personal brand. That was my chair, not me. So let's get into it. Okay, so what is a personal brand? A personal brand is basically a brand centered around, well, a person, what do you know? But it's become more and more popular and it's because it gives you a way, if you brand yourself, for instance, it gives you a really great way to stand out amongst your competition, become an authority in your field, basically be an expert, and then kind of in turn, you could attract more clients or sell more products or whatever you're trying to do. So it really builds you up to be an authority and you have a lot of power when you do that. If you have a strong personal brand, like any other you know, solid brand, it's gonna attract great things. And to build a personal brand, essentially what it involves is intentionally shaping and promoting the qualities and characteristics that define you both personally and professionally and crafting it into this one solid image. And I talk about this in my book called The Punchlines to Profit coming out end of February, 2024. But Basically, I talk about brand a lot in my book and essentially a brand isn't really like a logo or a color or a look. It's really more about a feeling that you get from something or someone or the brand. For instance, like Nike, I use it as an example. Nike, no matter where you are in the world, is associated with athleticism, determination, or I mean, whatever it means to you, but it's going to evoke some sort of the athletic feeling and it's evoking exactly what I said, a feeling. It's not like, oh, I see that color, so now now I think a certain thing. It's like, it is such a solid brand that's been built up for so long. No matter where you are, people are going to get a specific feeling about it. And the same thing can be done with a person. And you would get those same exact feelings if you have a strong personal brand. So I'll give just examples about how I've used a personal brand. So I started my career as, I mean, I still do this, but basically I'm a SAG actor and comedian and screenwriter. So I was in Hollywood for 10 years with my partner, Corey, and I actually acted in front of the camera. I wrote my own feature films. I have a couple shows on Amazon Prime. And after, you know, 10 years or so, I built myself up to be known as a comedian and filmmaker. And I've grown a following on across social media to probably around like 100,000 followers, not including other kind of spinoffs of my personal brand that have reached up to like 300,000 followers. And all it is is I've just crafted an image to make myself be a comedian because I am a comedian and I, I guess a comedian and filmmaker both of which I am, but I've always loved comedy. So I got really into sketch comedy and I still create a ton of comedy sketches weekly. And I just started to post those on my social media. And then I started to perform stand up. And then I was creating TV shows and I was working, you know, mainly in front of the camera, but also behind the camera. I mean, it's been like a decade, but I've built myself up to be known as a comedian and filmmaker. And that is my personal brand. Brands evolve and shift just like human beings do. Now we've turned our production production company where we used to just film like movies and TV shows. We've also morphed that now more into like a marketing company. So, you know, my image and brand has changed a little bit, but at the end of the day, it still kind of comes back to comedian and filmmaker. Like even the book I wrote is about digital marketing, but it's how to infuse your content and your digital marketing with comedy. It's putting that comedic brand into digital marketing. And that's what people have come to know me as. And I'm not this like, obviously like super famous person with this massive personal brand, but what I can say is that people, especially in the beginning, kind of knocked me for doing this because I think social media was new and the influencer thing was fairly new when I started to do this, but it's led to a lot of career opportunities, not directly from social media, but off of it. Like I've landed a ton of acting gigs because of building up a personal brand. We've like landed clients because of it, marketing clients. I've been asked to write movies with people. I've been asked to appear on podcasts, on shows. Like it's just opened up a lot of opportunities for me. So I'm a big fan of it. And since I did it to myself, now that's kind of what we do for our clients, especially the ones who are, want to be known as like, if there's a CEO of a company and they really want to be known as the CEO and they're an expert in whatever they're doing. So that's what I do with my personal brand. And I'm very passionate about helping others to do it because I think it's very empowering and it's something that you have total control and autonomy over. You're not necessarily working for someone else. You are building yourself up to be the authority and expert in your field of whatever you want that to be. And there's something really powerful about it. I think it's kind of like a self-development journey because you really have to refine like, what do I like? What am I good at? What would I like to help people with? What am I really passionate about? And it's kind of forcing you to like really look at yourself and then put this image out into the world that can one, help people if that's what you're like, you know, out to do to empower people, which I guess is also help and three, teach people something and then also sell more. It leads to like a ton 
ton of big opportunities. And I listen to Alex Hermosi a lot. He is an entrepreneur, very successful. There was a video I saw the other day where he was talking about this and he basically said he, you know, he's always been an entrepreneur and very successful, but he never wanted to put himself out there and build up his personal brand. And he said one day he was sitting with a friend who was a lot wealthier and more famous than him. And the friend told him basically like, hey, if you can just embrace the fact that you could have a very powerful personal brand, it might be scary at first. Maybe you don't like being on camera or you don't feel comfortable on camera. It's worth it because it's going to bring in that many more career opportunities. In addition to like, he was already doing well, but now he's become known as this like very prominent, respected figure in the entrepreneurship, the business world. So very powerful. Okay, there are a ton of benefits. I kind of just rambled off a bunch of them, but I'm gonna break down very specific ones as to why you'd want to create a personal brand if you haven't already. And if you feel discouraged or stuck, this takes time. Like I said, this has been 10 years of me doing this. And there's days where I'm just like, I don't even know who I am or what I'm doing. Um, I feel like, you know, it's hard to blend comedy with certain things, but it's the brand I love, the brand I'm passionate about. And so I'm just going to keep chugging along. And I encourage you to do the same because great things take time and Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, so one that I mentioned, career opportunities. If people see you, for instance, you're posting regularly on Instagram and you rack up a solid following, say even 5,000, 10,000 followers. And let's give an example, like a therapist we've worked with. First of all, she's gonna get a ton of DMs with of people like asking to work with her. If she already has 10,000 followers, she's built up enough of a reputation to be known as, you know, she's good at what she does. She's basically teaching people things about psychology for free. And she's going to just naturally attract clients. Like you don't need outbound sales anymore. It's kind of like, that's what you're doing by building yourself up as an expert in authority. And you're helping people. Like I said earlier, you're sharing really valuable information for free while also propping yourself up. So it's a win-win for everyone. Another one, credibility and trust. I kind of touched on this, but again, if you have a following or even if you're starting to put yourself online and you're, you know, this again, it takes time, especially if you're not used to being in front of the camera, give yourself plenty of time, be patient with yourself. It took me like years to get into this and get comfortable. So keep that in mind. Don't beat yourself up because you're not like this massive public figure overnight, but you will build up more credibility and trust the longer you keep going. And the more you're talking about the same subject matter, because people are going to know that, you know, what you're talking about. You're putting out content consistently, again, helping people, giving people advice, sharing personal stories, and you're going to be known as that thing the more you keep going. Another great benefit of building a personal brand is differentiation. It sets you apart from different people in your field. Like I said, the therapist example, there are a lot of therapists that will put themselves online. But for instance, say you're in California and you are known as being really great at helping people manage ADHD, chronic stress, anxiety, and depression. And you're constantly talking about that and you're building up your social media following. You're going to stand out from all the other psychologists who are not doing that. It's hard for people to wrap their head around that, but now digital age is 2024. The first thing I do when I find a doctor I'm gonna go see or someone I'm gonna do business with, like a potential client, I go and look at their social media because I wanna see the content they're putting out. I wanna see if they're standing apart from the competition. Like I know if there's a dentist who has like really high quality videos on there, they have a lot of following, they have a lot of positive feedback from their social media. I'm way more likely to go to that dentist or that therapist or that cardiologist, whatever, than someone who doesn't have any online presence. And if you're a cardiologist, for example, you don't necessarily, I think that's kind of a harder one to have social media for, but you could always talk about heart health. That's like a great, there's this psychologist I follow who is in LA, not the one I was talking about, but his name's Dr. Amen. And I love him. He is like a world renowned therapist, psychologist. He's done a ton of research in that industry. And he just puts out really valuable information all the time. So much so that I remember like, if I need a therapist like that, I would literally fly to California to see him because he really knows what he's talking about. I've watched his brand grow over time and develop and he stands out like massively from any other professionals in that in the mental health space. He, he really does. And now he's built up a following of over a million followers. You could tell he's very well respected. He has amazing reviews, great comments. And so again, great way to stand apart from your competitors. This is a given, but you're gonna have increased visibility. So kind of goes back to all the stuff I've been saying, but you're gonna stand out more. It'll lead to more career opportunities to more sales, to more clients, to more recognition, to speaking engagements. If you want that, to podcast, whatever you want to do with it, you can. If you don't want to do any of that, that's fine. But I'm assuming why you'd want to build a personal brand is to increase your chances of selling or, you know, building up your persona. So you will have much more visibility if you're putting yourself out there and you're establishing yourself as someone credible in your field. You're also going to build up your authority. You are going to be known as a 
you know, an authority figure in that space. There's tons of business leaders, CEOs, you know, entrepreneurs, but someone who has taken the time to research and to create regular content about their industry and be able to convey that to their audience and to, you know, their followers is really impressive because you're not just say you're going back to the doctor thing. You're not just practicing, but you're, you've actually honed the skill of knowing like what to talk about, who needs to hear it and information that you know would be valuable to the public. So you're going to be known as an authority figure, even if there is a doctor who does the same thing as you and is, you know, maybe more credentialed than you. It just has the impact that you're going to be known as more of an authority. That's just what it is. It's almost like if you go back, like, I don't know, a few years ago, but, and it, you still do, like you search someone's website and you see like, okay, they've won awards or they've written a book or, you know, they have this other extra authority besides that, like they're great at their job. It's really going to increase your chances of growing your business, getting more vis visibility, doing speaking, like everything I've said, it's just gonna, it's gonna up those chances massively. I said this at the beginning, but this is a really good one. And I think people don't talk about this enough. I've noticed it for myself. When you build a strong personal brand, it forces you to work on your development. So basically a personal brand really enhances personal development. You have to be really introspective and you have to study the market and you have to study yourself and you have to figure out what you really are passionate about, who you wanna deliver that information to and what people need to hear, what people are searching for. Again, let's go back to the therapist example. You know, you have to do research to come up with topics that you find that your clients are constantly asking or you see online and you're gonna fill in those gaps. So it's kind of like being an entrepreneur. You're trying to find the gap in the market that people could benefit from. It's the same thing as building a personal brand. It's like you are the business. And when you're forced to really work on yourself and hone that message, you get to know yourself a lot better. And I think that has a great impact, not just on your followers, the people you're talking to, but on you as well, because you're you're evolving quicker because you, you have to, you have to know like, okay, what am I good at? What do I want to share? What can I empower people with? And there's something really cool about it. I think it can be frustrating. I'm, I'm just very introspective in general. So I kind of drive myself crazy. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that I've decided years ago to start this personal brand because it has helped me develop just as a human being. And I feel better on camera. I feel more engaging when I'm talking to people. And I, I just, I, I like to make people laugh. And I think it's aided a lot in my personal development. So I'm speaking for myself. I've heard this from a few other people as well, but there's something to be said for that. So if you're looking at like a really deep, you know, meaningful reason to start a personal brand, I, I think that's a great one. So I'm going to give you a few examples of people who have created great personal brands for themselves. Whether you like them, love them, hate them, that's not what this is about, but you can't deny the fact these people have built strong personal brands. So one is Elon Musk. Um, Elon Musk is everywhere. He is literally like, I think he's, is he the richest person in the world? I think he is. He's worth like like 200 something billion dollars. When you hear Elon Musk, I mean, I immediately think entrepreneurship, space and Tesla. And I'm pretty sure probably anyone in the world would think the same of him. So he's really built that personal brand. He is a massive pub public figure. He's changing the world, whether you agree with what he does or not. And that is someone who you know, like Elon Musk himself is a brand at this point. Anything you put Elon Musk on, people are gonna have some connotation with it. So he's almost like superseded just a human being. And and he is this figure. And ideally that's what a really strong personal brand does. It makes you larger than life and someone people look up to and admire and, or maybe you don't admire, maybe you, you don't like him or you don't like other people personal brands, but you know them, they give you a certain feeling, whether you like that feeling or not. So he's a great example. Gary V, I absolutely love him. He's like the social media digital marketing guru. He's also a great entrepreneur. He owns a lot of different businesses and he has a media company, but he's really inspired and he has been putting out content for like decades now and just talking about motivation, entrepreneurship, marketing, social media, how did he, he always calls it day trading attention. And so I think if you're familiar with Gary Vee, a lot of people are, you feel a certain thing when you hear his name. Like I know anytime I hear Gary Vee or I scroll past one of his videos, like I'm gonna feel motivated, I'm gonna feel excited and I'm gonna wanna create more content because that's his thing. He's just encourages people to use social media to create very prominent 
personal brand or brands for their company or whatever else they're trying to do. But he explains that social media is such an amazing tool we have, whether you like it or hate it, to get yourself out there and like make something of yourself. So he has a very, very strong personal brand and he has like a wine company and all these different things, kind of like Elon Musk. But again, when you hear Gary V, he elicits a certain feeling. And for me, it's great. Okay, The Rock is another one. So obviously, you know The Rock from Dwayne Johnson. You know him from movies and TV and whatever, but he's worth like a ton of money because of his personal brand. He like regularly puts out social media content. And most people, again, know him from movies and he's like this big muscular figure and like this badass, whatever. But he's taken it a step further by consistently putting out social media content, building up his brand. Now he has a tequila company and he's really dove. He, he also actually started his own media company and he's really dove into the um, entrepreneur world. And his brand, you know, being The Rock has allowed him to do a lot of things and he continues to build it up. Like he didn't just stop at acting. He's really taken social media by storm and obviously has realized the power in it because it's led to not just more acting gigs, but more business opportunities in general, which has led to him making a shit ton of money. Okay, so that's a little bit about personal brands. I could rant about this all day long. I'm very passionate about people building them. A lot of our clients are now wanting to become known as authorities in their fields. And that's basically to make that happen, you have to have a strong personal brand. So you're going to want to start with really honing your message, what it is that you love, you know, something at the intersection of what you love, what you're passionate about, what you're good at, what could be profitable. And that might take some time to come up with if you're if you're new to it. If you're not new to it, then you know how it goes and you could always refine it. I refine mine all the time. Finding something that you think is really valuable or say you're already a business owner or you're even your employee, you're working at a company and you are an engineer or you are a copywriter. Like that doesn't mean that you can't be known as this amazing copywriter that's known as like the badass copywriter in their field. Like all you have to do is just start making content based around what you know you're passionate about and you think could be profitable and just start putting it out there and be consistent. Consistency is key. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Rome wasn't built in a day. So have some grace with yourself and realize that building a very strong, successful personal brand takes time. A quick success doesn't necessarily mean longevity. It's not going to be a long term thing. So really hone your skills, figure out what you want to share with the world and just start working at it. Put it out daily, weekly, whatever you can do, but just stay consistent and remind yourself because I know this can be intimidating. And you, a lot of times I feel like this all the time. Like who wants to hear from me? What do I have to offer? But whether something's been done a million times, every single person is going to have a different spin on that same thing. For instance, the copywriter. Yes, there's a million copywriters, but I guarantee you there is something different about your your approach to copywriting, how you do copywriting, how you teach people copywriting, whatever you do with it, there's a different approach. I mean, there's something different about how you do it. And that's where the power of this lies. You have to figure out what it is. And it could be something that is really hard to see because it's so personal. So a lot of times when I do branding, I'm great at seeing other people's brands. I really suck at seeing my own brand and sometimes even our company's brand, which we, we've also developed over time. But have a brainstorming session with people you really love or you care about and you trust, not someone who's going to shoot down everything because that could be a really great way to start and they'll be able to point stuff out that you kind of just think nothing of or you pass by or you take for granted because I promise you there's something special you have to offer that could change someone's life and I'm not saying that lightly I really mean it I do struggle with this but at the end of the day you just have to keep reminding yourself that on the days that you feel doubtful or you feel like I don't know what I'm doing this is stupid we all go through it trust me just keep coming back to that and keep coming back to what you're passionate about what people know you for, what people come to you and ask advice for. That's also a great way to start and start building your, your social media. We are always here to help. We do even consulting. If you just want someone to talk to you about your branding, um, we do everything from consulting to doing it for you to, you know, then upping it one more level and doing PR. Cause once you do PR, you're really putting yourself out there in the world as that authority. And then from there, the world's limitless. You can do whatever you want. You could write books, you could do speeches, you could do Ted talks. Like you really, it leads to so many amazing opportunities and it's just, you just got to take the first step and stay consistent. Okay. So I hope that helped. And if you don't already have a personal brand, then consider starting one because people need to hear from you. I promise. Okay. Talk to you soon.